Hey, you're watching After Hours with the Visual Studio team, and I'm really excited about this episode because when I'm trying to improve the runtime and memory performance of my code base, there's always been this really big gap between understanding the profiling results and actually improving my code. Uh, I'm Aaron. I'm a product manager for GitHub Copilot and Visual Studio, and we're joined by Harshada. Hi, I am Harshada. I'm a product manager at Visual Studio's profiling team. And Nick. And I'm Nick Karpinski. I'm the dev lead for the Visual Studio profiler. Yes. So today for this podcast, we will be going deep dive into engineering behind the GitHub Copilot features in profiling. And then before that, we will have a quick demo for you to set the stage. So here I am in Visual Studio 2022, and the entry to AI helping in your profiling is actually the same as before. This should feel really familiar because it's the debugger, it's the profiler that you know and love. But wait, what's this? We see that there's no top insights um, because previously we showed a version of this feature where you had to have a top insight for Copilot to help you. But I'm seeing now that even without a top insight that we're able to provide assistance. So Rashada, what does Ask Copilot do here? Yeah, so this uh, this is a new option which our users will have. This is a Ask Copilot button where users can, when a user click it, and Copilot will actually use the information from the profiling um, insights. So they will use the top functions, the hot part, and other information provided. They, uh, the Copilot will also go look into the source code and then will generate some generic suggestions based on all these details, which will help optimize your code. This is more like a human readable format for your insights, human readable format insights. Yeah, and then once you get to this point, uh, we take those suggestions from Copilot and then we generate those top insights like you would normally see on um, traces that trigger one of these top insights. And then from here, it gives you a very actionable issue that uh, it tells you that uh, what the issue is, it tells you a potential description of the issue, and then from there, you can go the normal Ask Copilot route where you can either jump into the source code or you can just hit Ask Copilot, at which case it'll take you over to the source code. And then we'll ask Copilot, based on this source code, based on this performance data, how would you go about optimizing this method to resolve this specific issue? Gotcha. So this is, so we've extended what we offered before, because now we can use AI-based understanding of the overall um, profiling result. Exactly, exactly. And it's almost as if you have uh, what you can imagine, a co-pilot performance expert with you that's actually looking at the data and trying to help guide you through to specific regions of your um, application to help you optimize and get the most amount of benefit with the time that you invest here. I feel like whenever I use an AI tool, I always wonder how much it actually knows about my code and my scenario. So we'll have to get into that more in a bit. But I'm also seeing a new analyze method with Copilot button on this call tree. So it sounds like, hey, even if you know I don't ask for a top insight or there's no top insight, I can kind of click through my call tree and ask for an analysis of my method to better understand how it works kind of explaining the code, which we know is a really popular feature in Copilot in general. But also, that adds the performance data that we have here, right? Exactly. And this is great if you're, let's say you're working on a feature, and you've gone and you've done your due diligence to actually go and profile your application after you've added your feature. Um, your new feature might not show up in the top functions or in the hot path, but you still might be interested in, while I'm here and I'm authoring this code, what sort of optimizations can I do in it? Well, you can go and you can find your function in the call tree, you can dig into it. And then once you find your function, you can then turn around and ask Copilot, okay, we have this performance data, we have this function, 
how do I go about and optimize this even further? And from there, it can help guide you on further optimizations you can do. Gotcha. So before it was just, hey, the profiler already has a top insight. You can ask it to explain what's happening and help you make it actionable. But now it's, hey, you can always have Copilot generate top insights based on the performance profiling results. And even if your a method or function you're interested in is not in the hot path, you can still go through the call tree and ask for an analysis and recommendations for that. Exactly, exactly. So diving a little deeper into how this AI that we built by combining Visual Studio awareness of your program state and your profiling results with GitHub Copilot, how does this work better than a web search in ChatGPT? Yeah, it's a great question. So a lot of the web searches with ChatGPT, you can almost think of this as like a code review where it's looking at your code and it's trying to apply best practices to go ahead and try and optimize your code. Whereas what we're doing here is we can do that same review, but we also have all of this performance information that we've captured. So we can funnel that into the LLM and we can give it so much more uh, rich context and state and we can really drive it towards these are the lines and the method that are the most expensive. Please focus your optimizations here so that we're going to get the most amount of impact for the optimization that we're doing. So other AIs aren't aware of this line by line performance or the, um, or should I say the CPU or memory usage of each line of code. And with the web search, it's always, hey, there was this message and I still have to translate what someone wrote on say Stack Overflow or YouTube about this message and figure out how that applies to my code. Exactly, exactly. And it, not that those sorts of optimizations are bad. Like We all know that repeatedly concatenating strings in a method is probably going to be expensive. We should use a string builder. But now that we have the actual performance information, we know this is where you're spending the most amount of time. And if we're going to focus our optimizations, this is where you should focus it. And then we can fill that context over to the LLM as well so that when it's doing its optimizations, we can really dial it down into where it's going to have the most amount of impact. So when you talk about context and the context package that we as Visual Studio are sending GitHub Copilot, what are what did we find helpful to add to the context package? So probably the most helpful part is the source code concatenated with all of the performance information so that we could really tell uh, the LLM, you know, at line 37, there is a substring. Please focus your investigation on that as that is what's taking 25% of the CPU in this function. And then it knows to optimize specifically that instead of potentially like a link query that's earlier that maybe that isn't what's actually impacting the time in that method. Gotcha. And speaking with other teams, we know that in some scenarios that providing too much context sometimes leads to a worse result. Um, have you had to make any decisions about context to exclude? Yeah, that's another great question, great point, is uh, we tried to explore kind of the callers and the callees, who's calling into my method, and then who in my method am I calling, and can we fill in the source code there as well so that we can try and give it even more context. As we started kind of expanding this, we found that we were just supplying so much state that it was trying to micro-optimize across different methods, and it really wasn't having a very um, it wasn't returning a good set of results for the optimization. So we've really tried to focus it down into how do I specifically optimize this one method? Now, it is interesting to see, like, in the future, could we get better with the callers and callees? Because then you can almost think we're not just optimizing a method, but we could start making larger architectural um, changes to your code. Uh, but Right now, we just haven't been as successful with that. And that's why we've really tried to focus it in and narrow it in on this one method. 
Gotcha. So zooming out a little bit, at what point should I think about using Ask Copilot in the profiler? Do we know from user studies and other customer research um, that developers prefer to use this feature at this point in their flow? So right now we're noticing that it's really quick to kind of just ask Copilot, you know, based on what you're seeing, what do you suggest? And it it's gotten to the point where we're almost considering just enabling this by default. We automatically ask Copilot because it gives good suggestions. And then if you're not interested in the suggestions, you don't have to follow them anymore. You can keep going with your performance investigation like you were. But by following some of these suggestions, you might actually learn a little bit more about uh, writing performant code in the language that it is that you're optimizing. Gotcha. So it sounds like really as soon as your recommendation and what we know from customer studies is as soon as you run your profiler, if you've got GitHub Copilot installed and this feature enabled, that you should really try using it to more quickly help you get a good understanding of um, the performance of your scenario. Yeah, totally. I think as so mentioned in the start, uh, this is kind of your personal performance expert. Gotcha. And so what's left to build? Can I use this today? So this is going to be shipping in our uh, 1711 experience, uh, release. Uh, and so you, you should already see the um, Ask Copilot for the specific insights that the uh, profiler highlights. And then this more Ask Copilot to generate insights will be coming in 1711. Uh, and so you'll be able to start using that. Gotcha. So we've talked about you know room for improvement with our analysis for callers and callees. Where else do we think there's room for improvement today? This is still like a new experience, right? Like I think we will get to know more first-hand experience as you guys try it out, and then have uh, like a real like, real feedback from our customers. And um, that's what I was going to try to say. If that's okay. I see. So, so it sounds like there's really an ask that for anyone who's trying AI features with GitHub Copilot and profiling that any feedback about scenarios that worked really well or didn't work very well would be really helpful. Yes, give it a try. Uh, AI is new for everyone. So we all are trying to learn here and we all are trying to see how we can make it better for and useful for everyone. So yeah, give it a try, see and provide us the honest feedback you have. Right, and the way we think, how do you think about success here? When as an outsider to this feature team, I feel like success is giving, is reducing the amount of time it takes for a developer to feel comfortable with the performance of their code. Or maybe it's the time between running your profiler and actually improving your code. Like how do think, how do you two think about this? I think that those are both good measures of success. My measure of success has always been how can I democratize profiling for everyone? I want to really empower any developer that's in Visual Studio to run the performance profiler to get some insights about the code that it is that they're profiling and then be able to make a positive change and improve the performance. Uh, a lot of times we, we have these kind of performance experts who are on the team who have been here forever and they know all the various tips and tricks and things to do. Um, and performance profiling has been kind of gated behind these experts. I would love to see it where more customers are running the profiler. They're starting to see some of this data and they're using Copilot to help them learn about performance investigations and learn about other areas that they can improve the performance. And so you can almost imagine a new developer on a team can take the tool, they can run a performance analysis on their code base. Ideally, they can have a quick turnaround time with Copilot and see, oh, hey, I can add this, I can make a change here, I should save hopefully five or 10% and then have that impact on that team soon. Any comments, Sarshada? 
Uh, like, what is success to you? I would say I would add to what Nick mentioned. Uh, if uh, if a new developer is able to use a profiler without any assistance, you know, not not even without any assistance, it's super easy for them to learn from Copilot, and then use those tools and even improve the performance and overall health of their application by a certain percentage, I would say that's a success for me as a product manager. Gotcha. So improving performance, more developers using profiling and feeling comfortable with profiling and learning from profiling sounds like pretty awesome vision. Yeah. Okay, let's see. And so when we think about profiling, what, can you tell me a little bit about what the team's thinking about next? Yeah, I I think one of the biggest things that the team is looking forward to in the future is this idea of being able to benchmark various uh, components of your product and then be able to uh, run performance analysis on those benchmarks and then ensure that once you make those performance improvements, you don't necessarily regress them in the future. We've seen lots of users kind of leverage unit tests in this way. Uh, they have unit tests. We have our profile unit test scenario. They can improve the performance, and then it, they have a nice, small, reproducible benchmark that they can optimize and measure repeatedly and gain that performance. Now we want to see how do we take and deliver a similar scenario as well as then put that in place as an artifact so that users can protect that performance that they've gained and not lose that in the future to various changes in the product. That's pretty exciting. So looking forward to any progress on in the benchmarking space and looking forward to customer feedback as we roll out profiling insights where users can click ask Copilot for insights on their overall profiler or on a method. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Thanks for your time. Cool. Thank you.